Greetings and salutations! Welcome back to Yuffie Psycho! We just faced off with HR, and now we've got the photo, and we're gonna go show it to Sintra! Like, and comment, and subscribe, and all of that good stuff, and let's just dive right in. Sintra, I saw a picture of a girl that looks just like you. Sintra! Are you an heiress? Have you been turned into an android incorporated like like oh you're the dead daughter so we're gonna use your model to plug you into the system Wee! Woo! yeah boy <laughs> yeah boy that's the life I've been waiting for that I feel perky now Sentra where you'll be Sentra <laughs> Sentra <laughs> Sintra, look at your files, girl. Sintra? Hi, Brian. What's all this? I didn't know there was anything like this on the Sintranet. It's a digital library. The company has a collection of more than 10 million books and articles. I like to spend my free time scanning and debugging the material. I was just now analyzing in detail that Hexenhammer you brought me earlier. It's a fascinating book. Did you know that to close the deal with the devil, the witches have to drink his blood? Ew. Speaking of which, I think I found a clue. You... you found this? Where did you get it? I went to Human Resources on the fourth floor and there was a giant mouth on the wall. She said she was my friend and wanted to help me hurt, hunt down the witch. What? What? You told her you were a hunter? No, I didn't tell her anything, but she already knew. I don't know how to put it into words, but I felt like I was talking to the witch. Everything about her gave me chills. Do you know who they are? Yes, it's the Sintra family. Sintra Corp was designed, was created in 1951 by Zhao? I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry. Zhao Sintra. Besides the patriarch, his wife, Xu, Xu Ying, his, and his daughter, Ray Sintra, appear. You have a certain resemblance to her, don't you? That's correct. According to the company records, Ray Sintra died at the age of 11. The family was so saddened. When I was made, they wanted to honor her memory by making me in her image and likeness. So who's the person with the burned face? Because of her height and dress, she could be another girl of similar age, but I am sure the family didn't have any more descendants. It's possible that she's a friend of Ray's. But it's impossible to identify her from this image. She is a cat girl with an Ouroboros around her neck. Do you think talking to someone in the family might help? It's a great idea, but I'm afraid there is no one left alive. The last relative of the Sintra family died in 1983. Well, I guess I can relax a little bit and go look for clues in the canteen. There's one thing I don't understand. Why did the witch give you this picture? Well, she didn't really give it to me. She used it as a trap to get me to approach her so she could attack me. I managed to trick her and get the picture. We don't know if it might be another trap, but at the same time, it's the best lead we have. Yeah, boy, you ain't never met a witch hunter like me. I'm the first one getting details like this. Brian, you need to get information on the Sentra family. We need to find out who that other girl is. But how? You said they're all dead. The remains of the Sintra family are stored on the 8th floor. Head over there and try to find out what you can. Huh. Well, okay. Well, okay? It means yes, I'm gonna go check it out. I know what it means, Brian, but I notice a change in your attitude. You told me you went to Human Resources, didn't you? Uh, huh? What were you doing there? Oh yeah, well I was helping Kate, a partner from the Hive. Is she your girlfriend? You jealous? We want we want the Sintrussy. What? No, no, no. She's not my girlfriend. She's someone I met in the lobby this morning. Today is her first day too. I know what you're gonna tell me, and no, I haven't told her anything about me and the hunter. I didn't tell anyone, okay? Why are you in such a hurry to find the witch? I mean I know it's my main goal, but I don't know. My main goal is to blow up and act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> The odds of success are indirectly proportional to how long you work for the company. The longer you take, the harder it is for you to succeed. What do you mean by that? While you're searching for the- Oh, wrong voice. While you're searching for the witch, she's probably doing the same thing to you. 
if she finds you unprepared. Yeah, boy. Sosa, I love you. Will you talk to me? Sosa, Sosa. Oh, she's praying. She's praising the Lord, but forgive me. Look what she's doing. Look at that. Look. At, imagine it with this sound effect. Go, 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 go. Hey, hey, what are you doing? I'm praying to AM. I want her pr to protect me from the air conditioning. What do you mean? My office mates want it on all the time, but my desk is right underneath it. I'm asking AM to block it up. That devil's machine. Do you know who AM is? She was an employee of the company with the divine powers, who protected the other employees. She died many years ago and came, became a saint. Hmm. I feel you, girl. People love putting the AC on, but I'm a tiny little thing, and it gets cold. This is the graveyard? What'd she tell me to do? She told me to come up here. I don't remember what I'm doing. Hey, miss. No, no, it wasn't for playing with fire or stirring at screens. You'll find that the goblin saw the witch so many times that he went blind. Um, they kind of kill it on this beat, though. Since your family cemetery 19, 1894 to 18, damn, 1894 to 1983, in memory of poor family that became the most important in the capital city, may evil never follow you here, and may you rest in peace. This, this looks like a cemetery. There's a big rusty lock on this gate. I don't think I can get through without the key. Don't do that again. We angered the spirits. I, I, I think I know where the witch is. Where'd all this fog come from? Oh, you gotta get out of here. We got to get consumed by the entity. We up in the mist from DVD. It smells like burning. Maybe smoke and sage? We need to burn out some demons, absolutely. She really just took my visibility like that. I could kind of see before, but now with the fog, I can't see anything. I think if I duck into the bushes, nobody will be able to see me. Birds are vicious. Get out of here! I'm not telling you the goblin secrets. So the goblin's real, like Spider-Man Goblin, or like you, you, and you, and I both know the incredible secret behind the smoke. That the goblin is invisible because it uses magic from the consumer driven society of common folk. Um, nice chat. Tried it. Uh huh. Tried it. Tried it. Tried it. Tried it. I mean, somebody crazy, crazy up on this floor. Oh, Tim. Oh, she just told me that before I push this over this way. Stop! Stop! Broke his ankles. You know, if you were broken at Bug's ankles, look at him down there looking stupid. This is crazy. You good, dude? What are you doing? No, 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 no. No one knows the past of this madman, I avow. The goblin was controlling obsessed has been ambitious until not long before now. Yeah, okay. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what anyone on this floor is talking about.
Is there a printer up here? I know it's absurd to ask, but like a printer would be nice. It's a bonfire. If there's a fire, burn witch paper. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was a save. I was mistaken. Uh, who's there? <clears throat> I'm the one who likes to smoke as much as he likes. I am the one who is blinded. Because I listen to Looney Man's story. <laughs> now I remember, but I was controlling obsessive and vicious. Thank God, dude. You gave me all that witch paper, and I lost it. I'm not even. I'm not even tripping on how you look. I'm mad. Can you give me more witch paper? A creature with two bellies. Oh, uh, so hello, my name is Pasternak. Ah, uh, Pas Pasunic. Uh, I'm sorry, but who are you then? Do you live here? And that hair, you're, you're invisible. And your eyes. <laughs> They're lovely, right? Oh my God, you don't have eyes. Y you're gonna, you re you're gonna kill me? <laughs> Calm down, calm down! Karma, Mr. Pastis. You ask me a lot of questions like that, you look goofy. You have to take your life with a soup spoonful of sugar. In these dark times, the human being is a slave to time. Everything is important. That's urgent. Run, 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 I catch you. Enjoy the moment, old friend, like me. You're here under a tree with a cigar and a nice piece of cheese to wall away. The afternoon, the paradise of the yum yum. Uh, if you say so, then uh, say so. Who are you then? Ah, well, I think I'm an employee of the mega corporation called Centropork. I'm not really sure. I lost my memory a few months ago when I completely mad. I don't remember my mother or my name either. But your fellow government officials call me the Forest Goblin. Although I'm not a forest, in this place isn't real goblin. <laughs> funny and what are you doing here I mean what do you do I do magic with products he got that banyan that gunja magic yeah with barcodes huh when I removed myself from the office I took refuge in this lonely garden and began to perceive the magic that surrounds the manufactured objects of our consumers led society and as an old Etruscan proverb says, only when you walk away from the lights of the big city can you see the stars at night. Equally in different sizes, all the secrets of the products were revealed to me. The secrets of the products? Yes, and their barcodes! <laughs> I don't understand anything you say. Magnificent! Then you demonstrate what you're saying, Mr. Passion... Passion Ponaco. Me, but if... You don't have any barcodes or some Mr. Packaging of some sort, don't you need? You don't need? Damn. He's messing up my- I can't understand a thing he's saying and I'm getting lightheaded from doing all these voices. Well, I have an empty cereal box. Does that work? Ahaha! <laughs> Alright! Cereal boxes are super powerful. The most powerful breakfast of all? Well, above waffles are croissants. Let me look this barcode a little bit. He going to ham on that thing. Aha, I see. This barcode it corresponds to the magic of poison gas. Am I immune? Give me immunity, my good sir. Give me immunity. Immunity? That contract you see lying on the ground don't allow you to breathe in toxic environments full of farts. No, why you got I don't I don't Farts, guys, farts is one thing I cannot take. I can take you, I can make you a copy if you give me two witch papers as hostages. Ah, death has come, I almost forgot to tell you. 
I also sell blank witch papers. How? He went mad from consumerism, didn't he say? Dude. Dude. 10,000? Even though I got them reduced by 50%, so they'd be one slice of cheese each. <laughs> oh, so I can give him cheese? Okay, it's cool. He, he takes it in form of cheese. Thank God, because... If he wanted 10,000 coins, that's a whole paycheck, and I even got paid yet. Aside from Sintra. Do you know anything about the cemetery? It's where the witch lives. <laughs> what, is that true? No. Damn. Noise. 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 So she kind of does, kind of doesn't. Please, this is important. I pushed the gate and I heard a scream. I think I saw something or someone. Would she be the witch? I don't know, I'm asking you. Well, make up your mind! Is it true what they say that you saw the witch? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, sorry. I saw the witch eight times! I always happen the same way, first anxiety. You want to run away and you don't know why. Second, the lights go out and you feel the air thick around you. A weight on your shoulders, third. A hiss that sticks like a pin in the air. And a kiss. A kiss? Like someone's kissing your cheek. At first I tried to hide or run like the others and I stopped. She didn't really want to kill me, she was torturing me. She always made the comrades around me disappear. She left me alive. Every time I saw her, it drove me crazier and crazier. I gouged out my eyes. Oh, he would got that Oedipus treatment. The last time she visited me, I came to live here. I haven't seen her since then. And you never knew who she was? No, if I knew I wouldn't forget, I always thought at that. I don't know, it could be anyone. Save, I need to save, I need to save. <laughs> Good lord. Yes, thank you. I'm not making guilt cheese ever again. Let's go in here. Oh! Nice to know. And they're drawing. Uh, woo! A lone wolf. Um, but yeah, we've we've conquered all that. We've seen the fourth floor. We've been bit and nipped at. We've seen the lustful lips of the luscious lady. We've learned about licking and sucking and all of that. Hi, Sosa. How are you doing? I don't remember her voice. I'm fine. It doesn't hurt at all. And you? Secret club. Let's ask about Hugo. Cause Hugo got me, dude. I know he is something's up with Hugo. I can't place it, man. Hey, are you afraid of Hugo? Sorry, I didn't mean to be so blunt. Did he send you to ask me? Is he hiding, listening to us? I don't remember Sosa's voice, guys. I've been doing too many. What? No, come on. I don't think he. Does he usually do that kind of thing? And much worse, Pasternak. Uh, tell me about it! Everybody's afraid of Hugo. He's been with the company for a long time, and he's been rising from the lowest floors. He has contracts on each floor and moves freely through the company. Haven't you seen the toad jumping around yet? I have, bro. I have seen that. What's with that costume? Super Toad is his alter ego. He's supposed to be some kind of company superhero, but he's just an excuse to do what he likes without giving explanations. He's very smart, Pasternak. He always covers his back. In public, he's that funny, slightly naughty fellow who's playing pranks on rookies. But when he disguises himself, he's totally uncontrollable and goes completely unpunished. Behind that mask, he can do anything that goes through his head. <clears throat> And believe me, he won't hesitate to pass over or go through whoever's between him and what he wants. But why is that? What does he want? I think he wants to be the next boss of the company. Please, Pasternak, if he finds out I've spoken to you. Take it easy. I, tr I don't trust him a bit. I won't tell him anything. For real, he'll go because like, <laughs> what's the deal, bro? First you sent... I'm pretty sure you sent me to room D and I'm like, oh, why'd you go in there, man? We blocked it off. Then you, I meet so you go on the seventh floor in the, in the uh, library and the archives and you're gonna turn the lights off on me, like, dude. And then you sent me to the fourth floor 
Tell me, oh, you get a pay raise knowing damn well the fourth floor got the crazy ladies. Crazy spitting goo ladies with the toxic spit. It's insane, Hugo. And then you're gonna invite me to your birthday party, but I'm pretty sure you're just gonna blow a cake up in my face. Hey, do you know why Hugo would have this can of cat food? The food! I take care of two cats on the seventh floor. Their names are, are Kimisu and Tao. Hugo hates cats. That's why he hid them from me. Hid the food from me. And now the two of the cats have gone wild. Do you mind going there to feed them? It's just that I'm a little busy. Me? But are they normal cats? They won't be dangerous, will they? Bro, they are knocking- Yo, you know what? It's not so out of sorts that the cats would do that. My cats will bang on doors for food, too. They, ba they bang quite hard. Don't worry. If you bring the food, they'll be fine. They are in one of the auto- <laughs> They are in one of the audio-visual booths on the seventh floor. Earlier, you were telling me something about the children of the witch. What are they? They're creatures in her service. You could say they're like her lieutenants. They roam freely through the building. Though, if you've been in the company for some time, you get to know which areas are the most dangerous. For example, on this very floor, there's that guy you saw in the Office D. At the Archives, there's the spider. In the Hive, you can normally see the girls of human resources in the Dot Matrix. Dot Matrix? They're the most dangerous. I recommend you talk to Doshi on the third floor if you want information about them. But where did they all come from? This company has been rotting from within Pasternak. Haven't you seen all the poisonous air spreading throughout the building? All the workers who breathe it in get infected and end up transformed by her. Bro, how long you gotta inhale toxic noxious fumes before you're like, bro, let me like not stand in this area. Don't sit there and breathe it in for eternity. Like, what the hell? But that stench has to come from somewhere. From a giant cauldron. She has a very large cauldron and does her and does her experiments there. She immerses the workers she captures in this infected breeding ground and transforms them into her children. Man, Sosa is the best person here. I've gotten the most information out of Sosa thus far. You know the Eighth Forest Cemetery? Yeah, who told you about it? Did you go there? Uh, yeah, I was just walking around and I got lost. Nobody goes near that place, Pasternak. Central family members are buried there. The founder of the company. That family has always been associated with the witchcraft. Some of the company employees claim that she lives in that cemetery. Mm. I wouldn't go near that place if I were you. What was Hugo saying about the you guys having a secret club? You want to come in? Registration is open. Sign me up. Give me the pen, the paper, and I will sign up. Mappy over here overselling me on pencils, though. I don't can't believe it. Sosa. No, I mean, I don't know. Tell me about it first. Oh, of course. It's called Video Club Mysterio. Dun, dun, dun! Do you like the name? Uh, sounds interesting, of course. It's a cinema club where we watch horror movies, B-series, other films. And we also make our own short horror films. I'm sure you must have seen tapes lying around. We've hidden copies all over the building so that when someone finds them, they'll go, Oh, what a mystery! Wow, how creative! And you made the short films? I'm the actress in some of them, and I always help wherever I can. But the real artist is Mappy, who's our director. Mappy? She's a very introverted girl, but she can take all the strange things that surround us and turn it into art. So what, Pasternak? Join the video Mysterio? Yes. Uh, go on, why not? Great, great, great! Then that makes three of us. Here, I made you a temporary ID. Sorry for misclicking. Let's go to the midi. Oh, should we go see Toshi? No, his name is not Toshi. Doshi? I low key feel like he'll give me some upgrades. Let's go see Doshi. Oh my god, Hugo, for the love of God, what floor are you going to? The sixth floor? Was that the sixth floor? Oh, it's our fourth floor. He went to the fourth floor? 
Well, he can stay on the fourth floor. What do I care? Hugo can do whatever he wants on the fourth floor. Like, I care. He can stay there all day. I'm going to see Doshi. Doshi! Doshi, it was dark as hell over here when I came last time. Doshi, what you got witch paper for, bro? And cheese! Hey, Doshi! Look at him. Look at him hard at work. He is gutting that thing. Look at him. Hey, Doshi! Doshi. Mr. Do- Mr. Doshi. Hello, Doshi. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Put it over there. What? Oh. Hello, hi. What's up, dude? Um, I came to see what you were doing around here. You're taking a stroll around the company, aren't you? Well, actually, I've been here already. <laughs> and it was dark over here last time I showed up. Well, welcome to the electronic garbage paradise, buddy. Here, I fix a little bit of everything. Computers, printers, telephones. I also like to collect components for, well, modifying things or doing my experiments. But hey, that's a secret. You work alone? No one helps you? Yeah, well, there used to be more, but between this and that, work-related accidents and the other, and the order of the day, you know what I mean, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> perfectly. I don't have much work to do, actually. Around here, the crowd can't turn on, tell a turned on computer from a turned off one. I've had orders accumulated for years and no one says a word. So I mind my own business. This company is chaos. I don't know how it's still going. I have a theory that's gonna drive you crazy. Want me to tell you? Uh, sure, tell me. First of all, get all that old witch stuff out of your head. We're old enough not to go around believing in fairy tales. Bro, I've seen- you clearly haven't seen the things that go on in this, in this company. You need to go explore the building. See what I've seen. <laughs> Look, this is very simple. This company is a machine and the parts that make it work are the employees and all that. You follow me? Um, sort of. For example, imagine that the company is a printer you have at home. One day it prints out two sheets of paper together. Another day it misprints some data. The next day, it swallows paper, mixes the files, and you send it to print. Well, you know, the typical printer moves. Uh-huh. You know that damn thing is freaking out. It's broken or something, and you call your buddy, Doshi, to keep an eye on it and fix it for you. Awesome. But dude, what if there's no owner? Owner to the printer? If only the printer exists. Who says it's broken? All their paper parts are working. They take the paper, they print. They make work ollie, but they work. Um, okay, I hear you. I'll follow, I'll follow. And that's what's happening to this company. It's broken, it's corrupt. But at the same time, it's still working. You following me? How are you holding up? Hmm. Well, while you're recovering from the actual travel, let's get to the point, man. Besides being a philosopher and fixing things, I also sell some supplies. Wanna see? Of course. Yeah, bro, get that junk out of here. Show me. Don't oversell me. Batteries! I'm always fixing photocopiers. Okay, I'm not reading all this. I can't. My, my, I gotta save my voice. And wires? Finally, I have this wonder. This art and technology fuse together in the form of plastic tubes that illuminates for hours and hours. You can carry them in your hand or leave them on the floor and pick them up later. Very useful. When they when you run out of batteries, they cost 50 beans each. But since you're new, I'll give you three so you can try them! Thank you! Oh, thank you. They're great for when I'm trying to navigate each floor. There's, a, there's so little light in the building. You go around the building a lot? Yeah, I'm always going back and forth. I've probably explored more of this building than I have than I'm supposed to in such a little time. But do you just go for walks, or, or do you search the drawers and the filing cabinets? Well, a little, yeah. Awesome. Well, then maybe you can help me. Let's just say I deal with other things besides what you can see here. Same, bro. I know I saw that witch paper on your shelf. I know what's up. I'm freaking out over a little jewelry I want to fix, and well. I'm looking for pieces all over the building. If you give me one of those pieces, I could give you a good reward. Maybe I have some. What are they like? They are matte, red plated, electronic components. If you bring me one of those pieces, I could give you some really nice stuff. 
I think I found one of those things. Take a look at it. Sweet, buddy. You're really dope. As a reward, let me see that little flashlight of yours. Oh, you're upgrading my flashlight? If I were to make a few changes here and there... Yeah, bro. It's not a flashlight, but go off. Good to go. Do it back. Now you'll have a bigger, much cooler beam of light. Thank you. Thanks to you, dude. If you find more of those pieces, you know who to give them to. Yo! What's the dot matrix? Hey, what are the dot matrixes? Oh, I could talk about them for months. In short, they're matrix printers. Yeah, but let's see. If you're putting a gun in my head, you don't have to. You know, you don't have to. Have no gun to your head, bro. You know anything about Centricorp's history? Uh, not that much, actually. People forget it, but this company was a leading technology company in the 70s before it started to manage and speculate on data. In its day, the sixth floor was a full of R&D projects. Multifunction computers, photocopiers, printers, robotics, and even memory scanners. This crowd experimented with all kinds of stuff, although they registered a handful of prototypes that never went anywhere. Summarizing, my theory is that a dot matrix is a Centricorp experiment that went wrong. Gossips also say that they originated when one of the scientists who work on them got his hands caught between the needles and well, the result of that is obvious. Damn. And uh, do you know any tricks to avoid them? Those things are almost blind, but they feel the vibrations of your voice in the ground. Don't run away unless you have no choice. And another thing, those creepers are in love with ink. Don't forget to take some ink with you. An ink cartridge, but use it if the dot matrices catch you. So they'll let you go and leave you alone for a while. You're so good, Doshi. You're so good. He really upgraded my... Ooh! <laughs> oh, look at this! I got a fanny daddy. I don't have to worry about batteries, bro. Hey, Doshi, what's back here? Hey, good vibes, but don't go near that door. <laughs> Figured. Alright, bro. So she really hooked me up. He upgraded my flashlight. I knew it was a good idea to come see him. I want to go to Video Club Mysterio. Let's go adopt some cats. Let's go put batteries in this. It's working now. Try pressing a button. Hmm. So I made it worse. There's a piece of old paper here. A rat! Oh, shit! Cats are my weakness. Let's just drain this thing dry. Meow? Meow? Shut up. I gotta watch this video first. Okay. Cleaning the pearly whites. Under the pipelines, as in her swimming pool, the conquering worm grew and grew. Oh, blood trail. All right. Oh, okay. Checking the fingernails. Okay. What am I looking at? <laughs> Yo, that's the craziest one yet. Wait, let's run that back. Is that a cat? <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. Kitty, kitty. You okay? Hey. Of course you want to be mean. This orange one is just chilling, bro. Here. You have your cat food, lovely cats. There's no... See, what I do, I feed the cats, and then I'll pet them if they, if they hiss at you first. You know? If they hiss at you, they won't care while they're eating. Out. <laughs> this cat is out like a light. Can I pet him? Oh, I didn't even see the black cat. You see the black cat? He's right there. <laughs> I think I'll find more cat food with these guys. Oh my god, I'm about to 
devote my life to taking care of these cats. I was gonna say all this, a tunnel for witch paper? Wait a second, there's some old sheets of paper here. After reviewing several non-official studies of the Hexenhammer, I begin to think we are missing the key role of the familiar spirits. Spider, bat, cat, rat, white wolf, owl, raven, toad, and the most important of all, the snake. So the spider will not harm me. That is fine. Oh, that's what these pictures are. The familials. Rat, wolf, cat, spider. Look at that. Oh, this is a saw trap, bro. Hate to be these guys. Is that glass? No, those are leaves. Christ. Okay, okay. I'm glad to know Pastor Neck also does not like. Pastor Neck? Nah, we don't get formal in here. It's rubbing, this company is rubbing off on me. Um, yeah, we don't. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we don't need Brian. <laughs> I'm glad Brian also is suspicious of Hugo because, dude. When do I get paid again? <laughs> I swindled a lot of my money. Are they still out? Whoa. Let's see how bright this beam is. Oh, I can switch. Yes. Can you go away, lady? You really don't care what he's working on. Damn. They got cooked. Oh. Hey yo. I don't know what oh the printer probably ate them. She got no reason to come be coming down here. Why is she coming down here? Poisoning the death by gas. Y'all really was really just sitting here working, chilling. Nah, me, I got my handy dandy contract. Y'all over here breathing in toxic fumes. I'd be gone, bro. I have repeatedly brought strange smells to the company's attention. It's obvious that the cleaning teams aren't doing their jobs, which isn't a surprise. They're all Class R riffraff. Damn, Class R gotta be low, low. Stop, what is that? <laughs> Death. <laughs> Yo, just keep your distance. Stop. Oh, I can't get sick, can I? <sighs> I can push them. sucks bro can he blow up I want him to blow up <laughs> oh why you wait to throw up right in when I'm right in front of you that's just toxic and petty yo hug this wall hug it Hug it. Hug it. Oh shit. Hug it. There are several dots painted with blood here. Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. Same. So if you just run by them, you're Gucci. Ooh. 
Why is he patrol? I can't even shove him. Kicked in up here, bro. Oh, thank God, save. Oh my God. No, please. Hugo. Hey, you. That's why we don't play with Hugo, dude. Through the wall. This place blows. Damn, who who bashed his head in? He like a pancake over there. Oh my god. There's brain matter, y'all. Brain matter. His head's burst open. Yeah, that's Don't that don't even look normal. I don't think the toxic fumes did that. Y'all died together? It's cute. Kate? <laughs> Kate, why are you just chilling in the toxic fume zone? Kate? Are are, are you all right? You look you look green. <laughs> the, the the poison. Oh my goodness, what do I do now? I don't have any more anti-gas papers. Don't don't run. What do you mean? Oh, hi. Dot, 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 dot. Uh, hang in there, Kate. I'll, I'll, I'll find a way out. Dude, what even? This is the price I paid for trying to loot some stuff, bro. I was just trying to loot. And now I'm gonna... I got a push button. Oh man, I gotta figure out which one to move. No! That was not even my fault. Just ink me.
Okay, yeah, she literally said don't run. Do I have to take Kate with me? The poison is much thicker here, I swear. It's coming out of that cave. He has a cave system? Bro. Where am I going to... I better go back and find another way out. Yeah. Into the cave, I guess. <laughs> Thank God for my contract. Yuck. The stench in here is unbearable. And that thing. What have I gotten myself into? Sosa was right. This company is rotten inside. <laughs> Brian! Oh my god! Yo, do me a favor. Gravity, take that dude out. The printer. Take the printer out, please. Now I'm underground. I knew I shouldn't have came out here. If Hugo went to the fourth floor, we knew we were to get into some mess. Wake up, Brian. Don't you think the sea is mysterious? Um, yeah. Yeah. You do. Yes, you do, little Sintra dead heiress girl. So where did we land? If we're in the sewers, no shot. I'd love to say. Yo, that thing is bloated, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he drowned. Is he dead? He better be dead. There's poison everywhere. W wait, what am I standing on? It's one of those things! And Kate's still in there. She can't hold out much longer. Breathing that poison. I, I have to get out of here as quickly as possible. Yeah, you, might, you like that, won't you? You like that, don't you? I'm a surgeon. Some other buttons have lit up. Clean. Clean. Thank you. Go over to this olive over here. What he looked like. Nothing? We got nothing to say about it. Bye. The stomach on this body looks like a basketball. It's so swollen. Yuck. And worst of all, it's blocking the stick. Bro, get out of here. Clean this man out. Clean him. Um. Print. Print. Print him. Yes. <laughs> Every time we're involved with Hugo, bro, some crazy mess goes on. If this is the source of poisonous gas, there must be some way to drain the water. Um. Why he still swimming? Why he doing what he wanted to do over there? Big boy spin.
the air is clearing. I have to get back to Kate and see if she's okay. Look at them bones, them bones, them. What? What? Why is he dripped out? Yo, this thing is alive. What am I gonna do when you go down there, Brian? You know the guy's alive. There's something shiny in his pocket, bro. Look at this, something shiny on his neck. It's an ID card. It was like mine, but this one's metallic. I wonder who our Corbo was. And that will be it for today's transmission. I will see you next time. I already have it ready. Well, I don't have it ready. That's a lie. But like, comment, subscribe, and get ready for the next transmission. We fought the spider printer. We gained a membership to Sosa's video club. What lies ahead for us? Find out next time. Anyway. Keep your antennas to the sky. This is Nova, and I'm signing off. Bye-bye!